Hi, I'm Matt with Tower Sealants. Today we're going to cover the basics for installing our AU1 commercial construction sealant in large vertical joint applications, such as a new tilt-up. AU1 is revolutionizing the commercial construction space for three primary reasons. Number one, its speed and ease of application. With AU1, there's no need to tape joints or prime before applying sealant. AU1 is formulated to be non-sag, yet incredibly easy to tool without being sticky or stringy. Here you can see us applying almost a baseball-sized glob of AU1 to an unpainted concrete wall. After 15 minutes in the hot Georgia sun, we have less than two centimeters of sag in this extreme scenario. Yet despite being non-sag, Unlike many competitors, AU1 is still extremely easy to tool and spread. Number two, it's low BOC acrylic urethane formula that also eliminates the need for solvents on the job site, both for prep and cleanup. You can now clean your tools with just soap and water as long as the sealant hasn't fully cured. Number three, and perhaps most important, it's unmatched durability when you add in the elements of time and exposure. We tested AU1 on 30 of the most commonly used building substrates, and across the board, it maintains both its adhesion and flexibility better than anything else available on the market today. In future videos, we'll dig more into AU1's unique chemistry and what makes it so durable compared to other products commonly specified and used in the industry. This video is dedicated to the proper application of AU1, what's the same, and what may be a little different from other products you've used in the past. Let's start by discussing a proper joint design and how sealant is intended to function. Expansion joints are designed to allow the substrate to expand and contract, most commonly with changes in the temperature, without cracking or breaking. Joint sealants are used to prevent water from entering the joint and potentially causing damage while still allowing the joint to expand and contract as designed. Regardless of the type or brand of sealant being used, a few key things are important to ensure proper joint and sealant performance. First, in large joints, you should use backer ride to prevent three-point adhesion. If sealant is adhered to both sides of the joint, as well as the back of the joint, it won't be able to stretch or compress as easily, which will put additional stress on the substrate and could cause adhesion failures or for the substrate to break. AU1 can span gaps up to two inches, and we recommend a two to one width to depth ratio, which is also a common ratio with many other polyurethanes, hybrids, and silicones. Second, the final cured joint sealant should resemble what's commonly referred to as an hourglass shape. The reason for this is to best accommodate when the building heats up and expands, as shown on the right-hand side of the diagram. If the sealant was simply a rectangular shape, it wouldn't have the ability to compress as easily, which would put additional unwanted stress on the edges of the building substrate. Using curved backer rod will naturally provide the desired shape on the backside of the sealant. Most other sealants you've probably used require the applicator to tool or spoon the front side of the sealant to a concave. This is where AU1 is different. As AU1 goes through its natural evaporative cure process, it will automatically concave itself to the perfect concave shape every time. Once AU1 is installed in the joint, you simply need to strike it flat. This process is further simplified by AU1's non-sag formula that's easy to work with and tool, unlike most other common commercial sealants that are very sticky and stringy. Prior to installing AU1, or any other sealant for that matter, you should ensure that the building substrate is clean, dry, and free from dirt, oil, or contaminants. If the backer rod was installed and painted, prior to the joint sealant being installed, we recommend either rotating the backer rod or striking off the dried paint to again prevent three-point adhesion. When applying AU1 prior to the building being painted, another huge time savings can be gained by not needing to tape the joints. Any excess sealant can simply be wiped off the substrate with a wet cloth. AU1 is compatible with almost all exterior paint systems. It won't gas out or cause any flashing or shiners in the long term. We recommend tooling within 15 minutes of application. There are a few limitations with AU1 to be aware of. 
AU1 is not designed for below-grade applications or in areas that are constantly submerged in water. AU1 can be used on horizontal perimeter joints with proper drainage. However, we do not recommend AU1 for horizontal expansion joints larger than a quarter inch with foot traffic due to AU1's flexible nature that can cause a high heel puncture and to break the sealant or injury to a person. Do not use AU1 just prior to a major rainstorm. AU1 is available in 13 colors, in 10 ounce cartridges, 20 ounce sausages, as well as both two and five gallon buckets. Unused sealant can be capped or resealed and will remain good for months after initially being opened when properly stored at room temperature. AU1 has a two year shelf life as well, which is longer than most other products in the industry. When using a bulk gun with AU1 in a bucket, you can elect to use a follower plate or draw straight from the pail. A bit of water can be used to slightly lubricate the bulk gun for easier reloading. Additional information on AU1, including tech data sheets, safety data sheets, installation guides, and spec guides can be found at towersealants.com. You can also reach out to us direct by leaving a comment below in the chat or by contacting us through the website. Thanks for watching.